Like the more look at that. He can barely even stand, but he's still standing. Yo, what's going to It's a DJ series, and we back in the bank with y'all boys. All the time. Okay, we back. We seen y'all hit the light go. You know what I'm saying? And we back with some more One Piece. You did? Yeah, we did. I already see the future. I believe in them niggas. I know. And we got a uh, One Piece top ten badass moments. You know what I'm trying oh, to, I trying to break this nigga. You about to say? <laughs> no, no, I'm probably gonna start watching. This. Yeah, I, okay. Yeah, you're gonna start After watching. This, I'm gonna skip a couple seasons though, for sure. See, that's the thing though. You can't do that, bro. You cannot. I'm telling you. No, 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 I'm no. no. Like two seasons. No, 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 no. no. Everybody, bro, you can't. You, I'm telling you, everybody that's seen it will tell you you can't do that. You right? gotta watch it. Like, you, you don't gotta. You don't gotta watch the facts. You can just not have to do time. But yeah. after this, you can let us know if you feel like you got more interested in shit after this. But we're gonna get right into it, man. Before we move on, do y'all see that number? That's a crazy difference. And all we ask for you guys to do, if you enjoy our videos, is to press that subscribe button. Thank you. <laughs> this is a good part. Nah, yeah, it's soccer. That's a tight. <laughs> I love this song. When it first Something came out? to be said nice. about small moments in anime that make a big impression. One Piece Demon. is littered with such moments. They serve as catalysts for plot progression and character development. <laughs> they might even provide some foreshadowing of the important events to come. Sometimes they're integral nah, to the overall the story or about. the arc in which they occur. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes and they're reduced to a compliment that might not be central to the story, <laughs> but they definitely make it better. That's not him. <laughs> All the that's not him, nah. Courage, I think that's him. Yes, yeah, this was... Qualities we look he didn't in even all of make our favorite anime himself? characters. Naturally, no. there are no, like, badass <laughs> moments. On that note, here are the top 10 badass moments in One Piece. There are major plot revelations ahead here, he said, so a spoiler alert. Like, yeah, so without smoke, further nigga. ado, let's get started. That's a real voice actor. I remember this thing. You know how big that is? I don't think you get it. And this show is bigger than that. Bigger than that. Yeah, wow. At number 10, we have the moment when Zoro look at, look cuts Pika in half. The shape shifting enemy that can yeah, turn an entire like country into a part of his body gives the Straw Hats immeasurable trouble in fucking, the Dress Rosa arc. Like, they might laugh the at his squeaky voice, yeah, but they right. know better than to make light of one of the top three yeah, officers of the Don Quixote family. Nah, yeah. So, so to see it. Zoro, who spent a lot of his time in the Dress Rosa, bring off and getting lost, a stone monster in half is immensely satisfying. He then proceeds to slice and dice Pika, forcing him to reveal himself in his he true form. Running, Pika's man. defeat is proof of Zoro's growing like... strength and skill. It takes him that much closer man. to his goal of becoming the world's greatest swordsman. His belief that there's nothing he can't cut can't makes this one of those moments you can't help but cheer Imagine. loudly for. Don't call me, man. No, no, I, I want it because I think he's going to open his eyes one day. No, oh yeah, thanks. 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 Yeah. I'm not saying, uh, I'm looking for him to join us. He's a commander on his fleet. He did join us. This shit was crazy. Oh, yeah. I got goosebumps. I got to get this down. Like, Next up is a hockey fight Luffy <laughs> knocking Bro, out 50,000 fishmen in the Fishmen Island arc. When Hoshi knows that Luffy and his crew like number just 10, whereas he has 100,000 men at his disposal, even some of the straw hats are overwhelmed by the like, threat. Oh. Luffy reduces that threat by half in an the... instant. Talk about evening the odds, hey? It's a proud moment for the straw the hats who realize their oh, captain yeah, has boom. mastered yeah. Conqueror's boom. Haki. For fans, it's the payoff we get to see after the two years Luffy spent training with Brady. What also contributes to making this moment special is the fact that One Piece uses its Haki sparingly. Unlike a lot of other anime that overexpose their power-ups, Haki's a rare commodity in One Piece, mastered by a chosen few and used only in big moments. What's For Luffy, that? the incident at Fishman like Island is one of his early one, uses like, of Haki after the time like, skip, but course, remains an unforgettable like memory. Yeah, 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 It's another one-man show at number eight with Law cutting Punk Hazard in half. 
For all of his oh, lectures to Luffy about the virtues of lying low and fighting cautiously, Captain of the Heart Pirates is known to oh, make some big and bold moves every now and then. Challenging Don Flamingo to a fight for purely personal reasons is one. Plotting the fall of this Kaido man. is another. As for his flashiest moment in battle, it's without a doubt his dismantling of Vigo and the island of Punk Hazard. Showing that he's one of the most imaginative devil fruit powers around, Law needs just one swing of his blade to cut Virgo in half, despite the Latter's body being entirely well, armed no, in hockey. In the process, you the facility, agree means, which so produces so. the main well, ingredient okay, for Joffrey's yeah, fake devil fruit. Oh, so the good, yes, I thought you just cut the whole shit, bro. No gravity, it's a moment no, it's, where it's you slow, can't help but be impressed jump, by the after, surgeon after of after death. He got his head. No, he's that fucking Luffy, bro. Boom, he's not playing. Mad At number seven, we have a special moment for the Marine Fred arc, too. which is crowded nice. with special moments. Yeah, this, arc. this thing is crazy for doing this though. He really gonna die fast as fuck. I know. But they were saying he's gonna human fresh blood. After taking the aerial route into the fortress-like marine yeah, headquarters, Luffy like, gets airborne yeah, once again, like this time magic. using a pillar yeah. of water and a to propel like, himself someone, towards the like, execution platform and ace. But no, standing in his way are the three so admirals. Talking he, purely bro, from he, the he, visual he, standpoint, he, the Armstrong so is standing up to the Navy's three strongest warriors and directly challenging their authority makes for a great poster. However, Luffy recklessly facing off against Aokiji, Kizaru and Ekainu at, like it's important not show. only for the visuals yeah. and the events like taking place. Cups, it seems like, in all likelihood crazy. to be a foreshadowing like, of the yeah, crucial situation between the man the who will be the pirate like, king and the authority chief. standing in his way. We can't wait to see what happens when the you anime eventually see. winds down yeah. to such oh, a so phenomenon. The bad guys, the bad guys. In the world, they're fucking the bad guys, but realistically, like, they think they're the good guys. They're supposed to be the good guys, to be honest. Nah, this, this shit was tough, bruh. Yeah. They're like, what's up, bruh? Up next is a similar scene from the Ennis lobby arc, this time with the Straw Hats challenging not the Navy, but the world government. And this time too, the reason is personal. Oh, Robin's being captured by the CP9, <laughs> the world <laughs> government's but they have their reasons, bro. They have their reasons, Luffy bro. and gang break uh, into Ennis lobby, <laughs> the notoriously fortified <laughs> judicial like, island like that serves as the organization's they, they headquarters. Yeah. Where do we see the Straw Hats stand as a single team in one frame? Most of the time they're off doing their own thing, but here, seeing them all together on the roof of the nice, courthouse nice. and standing good? shoulder to shoulder so. as they challenge the CP9 and Sleek and Spandam, it's impossible not to yeah, feel the rush well. of excitement. The detestable nah, Spandam points that. to the futility <laughs> of their challenge, bragging that the small crew's no match for the government's might. In response, Luffy yeah, has so they can shoot bro. a flaming arrow at the government flag. It's a declaration bro, of all the so has no skin, problem really? picking a fight with someone Luffy's bigger so and stronger than him. Everyone else knew, but then he's like, so it's cute. Shoot it. Man, he was from. This is top five This one is. This is where I'm saying you, if you get to this, you would see why they show good. This, this is where you would be at. Cause. It's all. Nah, man, Luffy was. Oh. The Straw Hats walk to Arlong Park to challenge Arlong that takes the like, fifth spot. Nowhere, this was at a time when the crew yeah, had doing... only four members. And it comes right after that unforgettable scene where the usually ballsy Nami breaks down in tears and asks Luffy to help her save her village from the tyranny and of the Arlong Pirates. He's the only girl he gave his hat to, right? his hat to his right? future right. navigator so for safekeeping. Oh, that's that's what everyone else is. Yeah, he never let anyone else wear his hat. Yeah, that's Zoro, Sanji, and Usopp, and the four march to Arlong Park. It's an iconic moment reminiscent of many a memorable Johnny and your you know, tell the villagers these four men are worth betting their lives on. You might find yourselves nodding in agreement. Again, in terms of imagery, the this moment makes crazy. the same impact as the previously discussed <laughs> challenge to the world government like, in this lobby and the Straw Hats farewell to Vivi right. in the Alabaster arc. It just thousand. goes to show that putting the Straw Hats together in one frame is a thing of magic. Bro, I think for a lot of fans, this was a yeah. turning point in the series bro. where they went from liking bro. the series bro. 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 to loving it. Yeah, so I can see exactly he, he why. Held his shit in his heart. Where are Arlong, bruh? He is blasted at. Arlong's not Deutsche. This was a crazy moment, dude. Really. This like, was like, what? I was like, I mean, I was like, he was the last nigga that I expected. I know, cause he was supposed to be, he's supposed to be holding back, um, 
The Marine Foot Arc is the oh, one arc in one piece that's guaranteed to make the viewer an emotional yeah, wreck. Why you come here? It's numerous acts of courage, betrayals, and god awful tragedy. Wait, it also has one of the most powerful conclusions as Shanks know. appears during the final assault and puts an end to what's now just hey, since the fighting. The Due to this intervention, Luffy like, gets away safely. No, a guy no who other, is stopped, no, no, thousands no, of lives are saved, and the fallen get the dignity they deserve in death. It's a moment that reveals the true strength of this Yonko, who's remained a mystery to us all these years despite being a central figure in Luffy's life. That fleet Admiral Sengoku is willing to listen yeah, to him like, and like, to do it, raises our expectations <clears throat> for what Shanks is and he's saying, in the body future. Too. This is also one of the few times we see Shanks as the powerful pirate that he is, with his ship and crew by his side. Cameo appearances don't get any more powerful than this. <laughs> But look, just like me. And they all look crazy, but I know they box. I know they box. I know. Especially what always see you in the fight. No. Bro, it's so annoying because the guy is full of strength, bro. You know how many people. I think they were stronger than him? Entrance at Marineford is anime so legend by now. I this know. is even more epic. But there's a moment blast in his heart, but he's still... still like the he's hanging out of resorts. No I think opponent, him... Even it, 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 one what is him? He's hanging out of his heart. I think where he at right now, he's old and shit. Yeah, he was here. He was talking about labor this time. He's still talking about labor. He was 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 talking He was talking about labor. He was talking about labor. He was talking about labor. He was and those aren't empty words. Whitebeard goes on to show the the him him, bro. Bro. I'm not, all right. and he was holding back. Yeah. He didn't want to fuck up his teammates. Yeah, he held back a lot. Yes, man. They split the sea like Moses. Be crazy, bro. Like, look, look at him. This is the one. This is yeah, Luffy. Yeah, it's number two. I'll say it's number two. Yeah. As you might already know, in One Piece, the Celestial Dragons aren't just what, nobility, what but is? practically godlike. Even the carefree Luffy understands that they're not to be trifled with, no matter like, what atrocities they commit. Well, this. he the gets it in slaves, theory, bro. at least, anyway. But when the idiotic like, Saint nah, Charles shoots house. Hachi and at they, the slave auction like, and Luffy gets that glint like, in his eye, you know it's not going to end well for the high-handed noble. Hachi is entreaties to Luffy to let the matter slide, even to the extent of saying he deserves to be it, shot to makes no difference to Luffy like, who marches up to Charlos and socks him in the face. That's how I do you, Kev. That's how I do you. I would not do that to him, though. I would Apparently, on, that fishbowl-like headgear the Celestial Dragons wear like isn't exactly much protection. What Luffy does is audacious oh, yeah, they all, they all someone know. who's in the habit of doing hmm? the exact so opposite of what he's it. told. But he seeing a bully get what he deserves is immensely satisfying. That's shit, bro. Boom! You hear that sound? I like, punched on the other He was flowing! <laughs> he left the fucking auction house, man. He's gone. And that it's brings us one. to number yeah, one. Yeah, and Zoro's finest Overall, hour the show, though, in the service of his more. captain. There, there, there. But this, yeah, this is crazy, bro. Yeah, he, he just said that. He said, he Having realized it. that Luffy and the rest of the crew are too exhausted from their battle with Gecko Moria and his zombie Gekko army to have like any chance to see how it against the Zoro makes what, the what, ultimate like, sacrifice. Like, Unknown like, to like, them, say the, say the, the proud swordsman before, gets down on his knees oh, yeah. and asks the warlord to spare Luffy Bro, and the others, offering himself a punishment on their behalf. Due to the nature of Kuma's powers, that means taking all of Luffy's pain and fatigue into his own body. I'll show you hell. He used a little bit of reminding it. Reminding Zoro nah, that he yeah. might not survive the ordeal. Zoro does survive it somehow. And when Sanji later finds him, covered in blood but still standing, he asks what happened. Nothing happened. A typical answer Swanker from a there. man of few. I got like, I got like, like, yeah. yeah. I got I got I got like, yeah. 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 I got like, Anymore. No. He can barely even stand, but he's still standing.
So there you have it. The top 10 he badass moments in One Piece. Which one do you think was the most badass? Write to I me in the one. comment section one below one and was. let me know your that thoughts. One, yeah, if you enjoyed sure. the video, press the like button. You can also subscribe to VinnyTube for more anime and One Piece. You said, you said the one where he punched the nigga to the monkey? Yeah, because he didn't care. You know how much, you know how much, like, like shit happened because yeah, of that? Because of that? Yeah. That's the way they all died. That's what I'm going to say, bro. Yeah. He, he fucked up, bro. That's because, you know That's how many team that wiped out his, his, they, his Yes, you that, remember yeah. how, like, you showed the three yeah. niggas, the three yeah. niggas? Yeah. I'm not even going to say, bro. It's crazy, bro. Look, you Luffy. <laughs> You, you, you. Just watch it, bro. I'm telling you. Okay, this, after watching this, does this make you want to watch it more? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, this is just this is small One moments, man. Hater. This is small moments. It's not even you're not saying the whole shit. <sighs> but what we should definitely we, uh, go to the anime. What do you think was the like the top moment? The well, last one. The one when he was. Cause they he's, he's top G or something. Cause he he even told me like you might not survive it, bro. Yeah. And he still <laughs> did. First captain. You're a real nigga, bro. You're right or die. <sighs> but nah, man, we better uh we better cut it out there. Leave uh video descriptions or video I can't fucking talk. Video suggestions in the comment below. Hit that bell. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. Let us know if y'all want more One Piece or let us know other anime y'all want us to react to. Videos and uh, should boy go. Where'd you? 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 Where'd